from the greatest of all time to retirement, Lewis Hamilton thinking about up hanging up the gloves the just boots. before he, he wins an eighth world title and beats Michael Schumacher's record. Guys, welcome back for racing. We have some brand new racing news, and that news is Lewis Hamilton apparently considering more than considering apparently He's on the it. verge of retire and if you can remember a few weeks ago Lewis Hamilton there was not a lot between him and an 8th world title he was about to go one clear a Michael Schumacher and it took Latifi a safety car a bunch of dodgy rules and Michael to uh and not not Michael Ma Schumacher Michael Motor? Massey it's a motor race it's a motor race did we, did we go racing Michael uh of Toto uh, so yeah, that's that's what stopped Lewis Hamilton, and, and apparently Lewis Hamilton, according to his own dad, his has, daddy. Uh, daddy, daddy Hamilton Hamlet. is a <laughs> great minds think alike. Daddy Hamilton has um, been speaking to Bernie Eccleston, who is ninety one years old now. Did you know he was ninety one? I know he was old. When's he gonna fucking die? It's about time. Is it no? Um, well, we wouldn't have this piece of news. Like, well, that's guys. true. Anyway, Eccleston said, quote, I don't think he's coming back. I think he will not race next year. His disappointment in Abu Dhabi was too great, and I understand him. Now tied for seven titles with Michael Schumacher, it is the perfect time for him to fulfil his dream and be a fashion entrepreneur, unquote. Uh, tied? The perfect time? Really? Would the perfect t would, would the ideal perfect time... Not be when you win the seven? Not eighth. I know, but if you're going to stop, it would be when you match him, not when you lose. Yeah, you? but would it not, would it, in reality, would it not have been him winning that Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, becoming an eight-time world champ, and then yeah. setting off into the sunset? In my opinion, guys, regardless of what happened, I think it's a wee bit pathetic that he's took his steering wheel and went home. I get he got fucked, but, I mean, why not fight next season? Echoes and added, quote, a couple of days ago, I spoke with his father, Anthony. I realised immediately that he did not want to talk about the future of his son, so we just talked about business. Eccleston continued by saying, quote, Hamilton has nothing to gain and can only lose following Verstappen's rise to the very top. Um, unquote. So, Eccleston basically... He's contradicting himself. He says that after speaking to his father, he's convinced Lewis will retire. But he also said that when he spoke with his father, they, about business. they didn't. They just talked about business because they didn't want to talk about the future, future of his son. So uh, Bernie Eccleston, you like you wee lying ninety-one year old bastard. Which one is it? Exactly. Maybe he's just see now. I don't know. Dementia's yeah, kicking in. Um, you damn Bernie. Get the sprinklers out. Shortly after Mercedes total uh, boss Total Wolf confirmed both he and Hamilton had grown disillusioned following the nightmare decision. Wolf said, "Quote: Lewis and I, Lewis, Lewis and I are disillusioned. You have to reset the lap before Lewis. Get in there, Lewis. Lewis. Uh, Lewis and I are disillusioned at the moment. We are not disillusioned with the sport. We love the sport with every bone in our body. We love it because the stopwatch never lies." But if we break, oh, hold on, unquote. <laughs> what do you mean the stopwatch never lies? If the stop not, if the stopwatch never lies, then Max f finished the race ahead of fucking Alonso. Exactly, and there's nothing you can fucking do for it. <laughs> so, um, well, according to you, Max is the worthy world champion because the stopwatch never lies. Um, quote. But if we break that fundamental principle of sport and fairness and authenticity, then suddenly the stopwatch doesn't become relevant anymore because we are exposed to random decision making. It is clear you may fall out of love with it. You start to question if all the work you've been putting in and all the sweat, blood and tears can actually be demonstrated by performance on the track because it can be taken away randomly. It's going to take a long time for us to digest what happened. I don't think we will ever get over it. That's not possible and certainly not as a driver. I very much hope that the two of us and the rest of the team can work through the offence, but we will never overcome the pain and distress that was caused. To be honest, still today, I can't even understand what was happening. For me, that still seems like a nightmare. No, Mikey, no. Um, just pure pathetic here. I think for Total Wolf, still crying about it. I mean, he, he, one minute he's saying the stopwatch is all that matters, but if Hamilton doesn't win, then the stop what stopwatch is irrelevant. You know, it's, uh, fuck me. This is a true case of only only sings when he's winning. He's punched the desk. Total Wolf's greeting. His monster energy drink is out the window. 
And Total Wolf, guys, would you like to see a, a Total Wolf socks fed? Ten reasons why. Shut up, Dig. You, you talk, right, instead of fucking crumpling up cans in the background. What's that all oh, about? I was a very nice. And how do we go on to Total Wolfie, Big Bernie? Big Bernie, 91. We're not talking about 50 year old Austrian prick fucking Total Wolf, are we? No, oh, I've, I've said my piece. I've, you, you talk. Well, I, well, I say it, I think it would be very pathetic if Hamilton retired, like, I think if Hamilton bounced back, beat Max and, and co in a, a generation with new regs after what most people will think he got screwed this season in that last race, and he can go out on top then, he'd be like, look, I bounced back, strong mentality, got the 8th title, fuck yous, I'm away the day what I want, dress up like a, a mess. Only girls, only girls wear dresses. That's what you said, <laughs> Until Lewis. I go walk. Then oh, everybody can wear the gender neutral dress. Um, and on that note, will Lewis Hamilton retire? Mass money says no, but I have not much left. So <laughs> honestly, I I can see why he would retire because he could probably retire and, and then play the whole victim Quick card. Time. And you, know, I was robbed in April title for like twenty years. Whereas, whereas if he continues in like next season, if for, for starting wipes the floor with him. He looks like a fucking... Yeah, it doesn't, like, look, it doesn't really matter that he gets screwed. Yeah, Max is better. Yeah, it doesn't really look that good. But if he retires now, he can always say, ah, well, Max never beat me clean. Never beat me fairly. Yeah, it's like when Schumacher took out Field North, no one really gives a fuck because he went on and won seven. Well, he, I know he already won a couple, but you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Same that he never won anything after that, I'd be like, well... You know what I mean? Same with Senna taking out Prost. Senna died. It kind of wiped it, the slate it, clean. It, it's funny that all the Hamilton fans will say that Rosberg ran away when he won the title. Because he didn't want to get smashed by Hamilton. But even though Hamilton didn't win this title, I think you could argue that they've got the same logic here. I think you could argue Hamilton's thinking, here, I can I can set sun set into the sun and claim to be the eight-time world champion. I was screwed. Whereas if I stick around, I could absolutely get an highlight the last season. I've said it once, I'll say it again. Hamilton got shafted in the last race. He deserved to win Abu Dhabi, but Max deserved to win the championship. I mean, more often than not, Max was on the receiving end of the poor decisions and, and just the, the general bad luck. Hamilton never had that. Uh, Hamilton obviously cost uh, Max 25 points in Britain. You can say what you want, guys. It was definitely not Max's fault. Bottas took Max out in uh, Hungary. And then Max also had the tyre issue in Baku, which cost yep. him 25 Alan points. Him in Silverstone. Uh, I've just said that. Yeah. But, uh, aye, you know what I mean? So what, what, what bad luck did Hamilton have? Is Bad luck really came at the hands of Michael Massey in the, the last lap. So. I'm trying to think. Uh, Turkey, I mean, they should have pit it, but that was more the team. Again, in Hungary, they should have pit it, but that was more the team. So I, bad I, luck, really. It's kind I of... think if everything plays out fairly, Max probably won the title before Abu Dhabi. That's yeah. that, that's why I think. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, I do feel hot. I do feel a bit bad for Hamilton, but I still think Max was the rightful winner of the championship, even though I think Hamilton did get shafted big time. And that's my opinion, guys. I think I hope Hamilton will be back. I, it'd be kind of sad to see him just leave. You know, next season you've got the new regulations. The grid could be shaken up. It'll actually be nice to see Hamilton not have fucking bought us as a teammate. Even, I don't know, I'm not saying that Russell's going to be more competitive than Bottas, but I'm just looking forward to see it not being Bottas, for the simple fact is, you knew Bottas was going to do nothing. Exactly. Maybe Russell can compete with Hamilton, right? Likelihood is he won't, but maybe he can. Even if he's slower, I have faith in this guy actually battling him. Even though he's got fuck, fucking pretty much no race craft. Well, everyone says he's got a great, great race craft. He's never shown it on a Sunday. Mr. Saturday doesn't he show nothing on a Sunday. <laughs> yeah, man, he's I may as well call it TP Mr. Sunday. But uh, aye, who knows? Maybe Halden will be known as neither Mr. Saturday or Sunday because he could be given up. He wouldn't even be known as Friday or Thursday practice driver either. He's just been... It's Friday, Saturday. What? George Russell, though, guys. I have faith in Georgie. Georgie, boy. But will Lewis spit the dummy in? Who could replace Lewis? That's a fit for a different. That's day. another fit. If you want to see that, then we'll probably make it probably tomorrow. Who knows? A bunch of drivers. Um, Again, well, you can talk about contracts running it, but I think most drivers would jump at a chance to take a Mercedes seat, even if it was only for one year. I, I think that's the risk you take. And on that note, guys, we're going to do it. Leave, leave the comments down below. Do you think Hamilton's going to retire, or do you think he'll continue on for one more year? That's it. 
I think he'll probably stay, but I would not be shocked if he retired. Till next time. Peace. Peace.